What's under the shadow smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Every Hello, it's your girl Angel, and I'm right back at it with another YouTube video. Today I'm gonna be doing just a get ready meet chit chat type of video. Remember to give this video a like and also subscribe if you haven't already. Thank you again for watching. Hope you enjoy. So the first thing I always do when I get ready with my makeup is I just put on just like a headband, anything to pull back my hair. And this is a CEO Sunday Riley um, cream. I love this. This is kind of expensive. I'm not even going to lie, but I absolutely, absolutely love it. And then what I've been doing recently is I recently bought a neck cream, which I know is crazy, but I think it's just good to start um, when you're younger to do skincare stuff for your face. And I know I'm going to be only 21 soon, but I got a neck cream just in case. And I would just like to say thank you to everybody that's been subscribing to my videos. It honestly means like so much that people actually like watching me, <laughs> which I think, and I just like really, really appreciate it. And it really, really does mean like a lot. Like, I think I have 57 um, subscribers now, which is crazy. Like, I did not think I would ever get that much. And I just, it really just means a lot to me. And my last video that I posted was my own Sheena, um, she and Try on haul with like the bathing suits. And I think I have like over a thousand views now on that video. And then my Marshalls, was a Marshalls, I think it was Ross, one of those. I got like over 2,000 views on, which like is crazy. So it really, really means a lot just like having you guys like watch my videos. I really, really, really just like appreciate it. But I haven't been posting as much just because, um, since things are now kind of lifting with this whole COVID thing, I'm going back to work now. I work at a preschool as I'm a teacher's assistant, and they're having um, summer camp now, which I am super excited about, so I've been doing that. So I wake up at like 6 o'clock to get ready because I have to go in at 7.30 and I get done at 4 o'clock, and then when I get done work, I am super exhausted, so like every time I want to make a YouTube video, then like I feel kind of tired. So I've been trying to make one, like... So I do apologize about the wait. Next, I'm going to be putting on some concealer. I'm going to be doing the next or NYX, however you pronounce it. I know I hear it both ways. And this is the Can't Stop, Won't Stop Concealer. And this is in the shade True Beige. I got this sent to me um, by Influencer, and I absolutely love this. I think it's really, really good concealer. I don't always use it because it is like, a little bit thicker and... Not like it dries out my skin, but I don't try to use it too much because if I do, it does end up doing if I use it like constantly, if that makes any sense. Yeah, I'm just going to do like that. And then I'm going to try finding blemishes. I feel like my face looks pretty clear for the most part right now, so. But it really, really does mean like a lot for you guys watching my videos. Like my um, one cousin, Melinda, she was telling me that she had like my video on loop and she watched it like at least 25 times. Which is like super super sweet. She did not need to do that, but it just really meant a lot. And then I've just having like having a lot of people just like saying really really nice things about my videos and all, which really really means the world to me. So yeah, thank you just for everybody just being super supportive and just really nice. Cause I was like super like scared. Next, I'm going in with my 570 um, medium tan um, foundation. This is by CoverGirl, and this is the clean, fresh one. I also got this sent to me um, by Influencer, and I am super thankful for that. This is a little tan, but I def I got a tan the other day. I was at a graduation party. I was outside for a little bit, so I think that this will work fine now since I have a little bit of a tan to my face. I probably need to get more of this. This is like a really, really good um, foundation. Like it's pretty lightweight. It's not high coverage, if like you like something that's more of like a CC cream or something that like still like kind of like shows through or like is like skin but a little bit better, this is the perfect foundation for you. I'm not looking to do anything crazy today, I don't think for my makeup. That might change, but we'll see. Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features You'll find a beauty You can tell like this foundation like still like has like I guess like your skin like still kind of like shine through like you can tell like you're wearing foundation But it's like very natural Which I really really like and then this is like the perfect foundation like to like wear if like, you're going to the beach And if like you want something on but nothing like You know too full coverage I'm putting a lot on I know 
probably going a little bit more coverage than what this is giving me at the moment. Unshow what's under this shadow smile. We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me show what's under this shadow smile. We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Next up, I'm using some setting spray for my face. This is the Urban Decay um, All Nighter Setting Spray. I like to do this like once I have my foundation on, just make sure it stays on. So yeah. And, like you don't need the setting spray, but I think it's just good to have like setting spray on hand just in case because I really do feel like before I was using setting spray, my makeup wouldn't stay on nearly as long as it does now. So I definitely think that setting spray is not a gimmick. I definitely think it is something that you do need in your makeup collection. Like my own personal opinion, I believe that. I'm using uh, my Brow Wiz by Anastasia. This is in the shade Chocolate. I feel like this works really, really well, especially if I'm just trying to do my brows pretty quickly in the morning. So yeah, I usually use a mirror for this, but I'm trying to do everything kind of on camera for you guys so you can see. So I just like to like go underneath my eyebrows first. I try filling it in and then I go like up like right here on show what's under the shadow smile we'll never know she's a Mona Lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that features you'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her let me on show What's under the shadow smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. In my last makeup videos, I haven't been um doing any eyeshadows. I think that I'll um do an eyeshadow look in this one. This is the Soft Glam Palette by Anastasia Murphy um, X Jeffree Star, the JS5. Just a little fluffy brush. I think I'm going in the shade um. Mm. I got rustic right here. Be doing the shade right here. Oh my gosh. Okay, this is my first time using the brushes and they broke on me. That's fun. So that's kind of disappointing. I literally just brought bought this and it's my first time using it and it broke. So I don't know if the quality is there, Morphe. On show, what's under the shadow smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me show, what's under the shadow smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features. You'll find her beauty goes much deep. So next I'm going in with just a darker shade of brown in the Soft Glam palette. I'm going to be using um, the Jeffrey X, um, Morphe X Jeffree Star brush. And this is the JS13. Hopefully this one doesn't break. I'm going to be going in with this shade right here, this darker brown shade. Okay, let's just hope for the best. Okay, didn't break, that's good. Um, but I'm just going to go um, out with this on the outer corner and kind of just drag it out just a pinch. On show, what's under the shadow smile, we'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa, everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something about her features You'll find her beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me show what's under the shadow smile Let me going in with now a sparkly shade Or I guess a pressed pigment if you could say that And then this is the Morphe X Jeffree Star This is the JS11 brush Like that And I think I'm just going to be going in with a gold shade Why not? 
going in with bronze right there really really pretty gold color okay i might um, spray some setting, um, setting spray on this we'll see though if it has enough coverage or pigment on it yeah without even setting spray look how beautiful that is so what's under this saddle smile we'll never know she's a mona lisa everyone's lining up to see her there must be something that features You'll find the beauty goes much deeper Once you get to meet her Let me show What's under this subtle smile You'll never know She's a Mona Lisa Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something that features To me grabbing the brush that broke off I'm gonna be getting just a layer of brown shade. I'm just going to try to blend the gold and the brown. Let show what's under this subtle smile. We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper once you get to meet her. Let me show what's under this subtle smile. Oh, surprise surprise i'm actually be grabbing another palette this is the conspiracy palette by um shane dawson and also jeffrey star too on um, the club they came up together with my aunt has been asking me um like to do a video on how to apply eyeliner and i thought you know i'm not gonna spend a whole video showing how to do eyeliner but i will show how to do eyeliner just in a small part of the video i'm not good at it i kind of actually suck at it that's why i try to never really do it but what I've been doing lately is, I've got the brush for it. Where is it? That. <laughs> okay. So this is like a, supposed to be for an eyebrow pencil, like brush. But um, I'm just using it as an eyeliner brush. It works super, super well. And since like it does have a smaller tip and it's angled, I feel like this is just the perfect brush to um, do eyeliner with. And this is the Morphe X Jeffree Star. JS7. I do like have um, eyeliners. I actually got one or two sent to me, but I feel like doing eyeshadow as eyeliner actually works a little better and you have more control over it. I probably sound crazy saying that, but that's what I like to do. And what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be using um, the black in here and it's called My Rides here. And this is a like, really, really nice um, black. Some like blacks and palettes aren't the best. I feel like this is just super pigmented and also isn't like I don't know, like it isn't like too dark, but also isn't like too patchy either. Like it's just perfect. Show what's under this subtle smile. We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Every so that's how you do eyeliner. Like kind of eyeliner. So I hope you enjoyed that part, Aunt Susie. <laughs> so next up, I'm going to be doing some lashes as well too. I think that these are Ardell lashes. I lost the packaging for these. And to be using the Duo is a good um, coating for that. I, I know some people tell you to like wait until they dry. I am very impatient when it comes to my lashes. I put them on as fast as I can. <laughs> so, okay, this should be fine. On <laughs> show, what's under this subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. There must be something that features. You'll find her beauty goes much deeper. Once you get to meet her, let me show what's under this subtle smile. We'll never know. She's a mom. Next, I'm going to contour my face. I feel like I've shown this in every single video. This is literally my go to cream contour palette. I feel like cream contours makes you look more snatch. I know it sounds crazy, but I feel like just like doing a cream on top of foundation makes it look more skin like than using a powder. Then I feel like a powder can make you look cakey. Just my personal opinion, but I use the um, medium shade. I got this at Marshalls for like $20. So if you're looking for this, just go to Marshalls. They always, they usually always have this and it's $20 for the most part. Sometimes it's um, discounted, but I got the shade medium. I want to get the um, light one too, because I feel like this works really, really well in the summertime, but then the winter time is a little too dark for me. And I always use the lightest shade right here, which is cinnamon. On show, what's under this subtle smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa. 
Everyone's lining up to see her There must be something about the features Next is the blush by Tarte. I feel like I've said this in sing every single video is Tarte has the best blushes. Next, let me do my lipstick. I actually want to talk about something that I recently um, got. It is the doll 10. My mom actually got this for me. She said it was an early birthday present, but she didn't have to do it. I thought it was really, really sweet of her. The first thing that it comes with is this doll 10 perfect pout. It is the swole, um, exfoliant lip cream thing. I have one from um, Jeffree Star that I really, really like, but this one is super nice too. And that one is probably expired, so it's good that I got this one. And it smells like super, super nice. It's like kind of like, like coconut-y smelling. And the next thing that it comes with is this lip liner. It is also the Doll 10 too. This is the Lip Genius, and this is in the shade Bestie. You can tell it's a really, really pretty um, brown. It also came with this Doll 10 lip gloss. It's like a white... Um, like a clear lip gloss and it has some sparkles in it which is so so pretty this is definitely up in my alley i love like lip glosses if you can't tell i already used it earlier on top of something else so sorry this is called soft spoken which is such a cute name it's just a really really pretty like pinky mauvey tone and this is super up my alley like, i love anything that has like a mauvey tone to it pinks i have tons of nude lipsticks and like they're super pretty nudes but I love a good pink lipstick too. Like they just look super, super pretty on anybody. I like really love these. So this is how soft spoken looks. Really, really pretty pink color. Like look at that. Like that is so gorgeous and it goes on so smoothly. Like it's so soft. Like, oh my goodness. Like thank you, mom. mom. <laughs> this one is called Kinda Sexy. And this is a really, really pretty color. Also kind of like a pinky color too. This one is called Killing It. <laughs> And it's kind of like more of like a pinky, purplish, mauvey tone too. Super, super pretty. Also, again, up my alley. And this is the finished makeup look. Thank you again so much for watching this video. It means so much to me. And remember, if you haven't already, remember to give this video a like. Also, subscribe and also comment below what your favorite step in this video was. Have you learned anything new with how to do your makeup? Anything like that? I really, really appreciate all you guys. And thank you again for watching me. Have a wonderful day. Bye. On show, what's under the shadow smile? We'll never know. She's a Mona Lisa.